Iron is used in the body, most importantly, in hemoglobin, and that is a molecule that's within our red blood cells, so we carry oxygen from our lungs out to all of our other body tissues, the brain, your big toe, and all of your organs, so they have oxygen to use to produce fuel in every cell. Most often we see iron deficiency anemia, that's the most common reason people are on iron supplements, and that just means that either you're vegetarian or vegan and you aren't getting enough in your diet, and more, most often we see it in young women or um, middle-aged women who are still having their regular cycles and they're literally losing iron every month with every period. So those are the most common categories of folks who need iron supplementation. Usually you don't need a lot, you just need a little bit. We try to get it in our food. It's certainly found in all meat products, steak, um, venison, beef, any of those. And you can also get it in some foods, your dark green leafy vegetables like kale, broccoli, collard greens, spinach, as long as it's cooked. You can also get iron out of those plant sources. In addition to that, you can cook and cast iron skillets. You can take blackstrap molasses in your oatmeal in the morning or whatever hot cereal you may have, and all of those can also provide some iron. If that's too much or you're just not getting enough in, that's where the iron supplements come in. Most often I use forms of the iron glycinate or iron sulfate, the ones that don't cause as much constipation as some of the other iron forms that you find at the regular you know, drugstore. So uh, again, iron. Essential for hemoglobin to function, carry oxygen to all of our tissues, and most often we see its need in people who have anemia or just don't eat as much iron in their diets as some other folks. Thank you, and take a look at all the iron supplements on the dispensary online.com.